Hey everyone, Laser Dave here to show you the process of installing and operating the rotary on a Speedy 400 laser machine running from the Ruby software. Operating the rotary with Ruby opens up many new possibilities that have previously not been possible. To install the rotary into the Speedy 400, lower the table, turn off the laser machine, and then open the machine and remove the table by pushing the pins to release and removing the table. To install the rotary, place it into the center of the field and align the right and the left pins to the pinholes on the Speedy 400 rotary. Now, with the laser off, plug in the rotary and then turn on the laser machine. Take the product that will be processed in the rotary and then measure the diameter and then write that number down for later use. Place the product into the rotary, making sure that it is secure. Place a level onto the surface if the product is angled. If needed, adjust the rotary angle until the product is level. Remove the cone before operating the rotary. Manually focus onto the surface of the product using the manual focus tool. Position the red dot pointer to the desired start location of the graphic. Then open Ruby. Choose the desired graphic from the Manage screen. If no adjustments are needed, create the job and take it into the Prepare screen. Turn on the rotary by selecting it at the top of the toolbar. In this case, we're going to rotate the graphic 90 degrees. And then position it at the red dot pointer. You will then notice a shadow of the graphic will simulate how the graphic will revolve around the cup in this case. Measure the diameter and place the diameter into the rotary field. This graphic can be scaled and adjusted as desired within this screen. Select the 3D button to see a 3D simulation of the finished product. You can click and drag this 3D simulation around to make sure that the file looks correct before laser processing. Now select the material parameter on the right side of the prepare screen. And then push it to the laser. The laser will now process this file as seen on the screen no matter how the file is wrapped around, well beyond 360 degrees until the image is fully engraved. The simplicity of using the red dot pointer to align the graphic, a shadow simulation to show how the graphic wraps around the diameter, 3D simulations of the product before they are processed, and the ability to engrave beyond 360 degrees are just some of the added benefits of using the rotary on the Ruby software. When finished, remove product from the laser for the finished result, and then repeat as needed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you next time.